staying with Syria, the fate of displaced Syrians continues to hang in the balance. Their lifeline could be snatched away from them. At the UNSC, Russia and China have once again vetoed approval of cross-border aid. Syrians say they will die of hunger if the cross-border aid is stopped. We bring you more in our next report. For displaced Syrians in the northwestern province of Idlib, uncertainty looms large. Their lifeline is being snatched away from them. Russia and China have vetoed a last-ditch attempt by Western members of the UN Security Council to extend the approval for humanitarian aid to be delivered. The remaining 13 council members voted in favor of the resolution. This was the third failed vote on the issue by the council and the second veto by Russia and China this week. Millions of Syrian civilians in the country's northwest depend on the humanitarian aid delivered from Turkey. They say that they would die of hunger if the cross-border aid stops. The Russian efforts to close the crossing is very, very harmful for us. This is not of any benefit to us. It will prevent humanitarian aid to us, which is sent to us. We are living by those and we fight over them. Without them, nothing would work. We will die of hunger. 2.8 million people depend on external aid in the Idlib province, which is the last rebel-held bastion in Syria. The 15-member UN Security Council has been split, with most members against Russia and China, who want to cut the number of border crossings to one. Russia had argued that aid should be delivered from within Syria across conflict lines. But the UN and humanitarian groups say that the aid cannot get in that way. The basket that is offered to the families of this camp is basically enough for a week or 10 days. It is not enough for the family to depend on. If the regime or Russia wants to cut this aid and close these borders and not allow the aid through the crossing, we will have a humanitarian crisis and people will all try to head to the borders or to go outside. The Security Council had authorized the cross-border aid operation into Syria six years ago. Much of the aid is dispersed by non-UN agencies.